Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to give you a January homeschool update. I love making these videos. I love updating you guys on everything that is going on in our homeschool. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I am a homeschooling mom to three girls, ages 10, three, and two. I'm in my second year of homeschooling. So you guys, January, as far as any big updates, you guys have already seen it in my last video that I made that we have changed our uh, math curriculum. I feel like that was like the biggest thing that has happened for us in the month of January. So if you guys haven't checked out that video, I'll go ahead and put it in the I cards and in my description box below because I feel like that was like our biggest um, update for uh, January. Um, I really just made a... I, I really think I should say an impromptu decision uh, as we started our second semester just to go ahead and uh, switch our math curriculums. And like I said before, I went into further detail about that in that video. But I just want to give you guys a quick update. Saxton math is going great. Um, as you guys can see, it's right here on my daughter's desk back here. So uh, it's been going great. Uh, we have been utilizing Nicole the math lady. And you guys, I just feel like... Uh, I feel like a relief, just honestly, because our homeschooling days have been going so well. We've been having a better flow. I haven't had any tears with math for this whole month. And I really feel like that says a lot. Um, math has just always been that subject that brings tears in our household, but it doesn't anymore. And I really hope it stays that way. But um, I'm really finding my daughter, uh, she is really grasping math concepts in a way I didn't see her grasping it with the other curriculums that we've been using. So um, I'm really happy about it. I cannot wait to give you guys like a month review like once we get into the end of February I am going to give you guys like a full month or a full I guess it'll probably be like a month and a couple of weeks that we have used Saxton so you guys can see and hear um, how's it going and I can go like in further detail about it but um so far, so good. Another curriculum change that I did make was uh, last semester, we actually finished this Evan Moore Building Spelling Skills, grade four. We finished this whole book. Um, if my daughter passed a pretest, we would just go on to the next week's worth of lessons. So she completed this one. And I was like at a crossroad whether I wanted to do wordly wise, no spelling. But I just ultimately decided, you guys, to go ahead and try out 100 and days, uh, 180 days of spelling spelling and word study. I bought fifth grade because my daughter, she is very, very good at spelling and I wanted to go ahead and give her a challenge. Plus, I know that we're not going to finish this whole book, so this can go ahead and seep into next school year. But so far, you guys, so good. I have been really enjoying this 180 days of um, spelling because it has a, a word study right here that I really like. It has um, synonyms and antonyms that they're doing. It also has um, where they're answering questions using the spelling words in complete sentences. So I really feel like this is a good combination of spelling and vocabulary. I thought I was gonna pick up my Wordly Wise and kind of like hack it into a spelling and vocabulary, but I just wanted to really simplify it. This was actually on sale. So I purchased this in December. So um, I'm so happy we've started off with this and so far so good if you guys want me to like make a comparison video between Evan Morris spelling and 180 days of spelling just let me know I definitely will I honestly love both of the spelling programs I just think that this one is what I was really looking for because it adds that like vocabulary in it so you're kind of getting two subjects in one which is really really great so um yeah I've been loving this one my daughter has been loving this one as well so um yeah so you guys, that's honestly everything as far as like curriculum uh, changes or just curriculum <laughs> in our homeschool. Um, what we've been doing as far as our um, Bible and I guess spiritually, we have been studying the fruits of the spirit and I printed off this little uh, sheet of the fruits of the spirit because I've been having my daughter memorize the fruits of the spirit. She actually has memorized, uh, what is it? She's memorized 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4 through 8 and I printed it off right here. And uh, I really feel like uh, she has grasped a good knowledge of love because love was our first fruit of the spirit. Uh, we are heading on into uh, joy next. So I've really been taking my time uh, going over the fruits of the spirit with my daughter and she's been loving it too. And uh, it's really been amazing for me to 
pull back out that fruit of the spirit, especially when like we're having bad moments, sad moments. I can just say, Brie, how can we show love in this situation? How can we show joy? How can we show peace? So it's been a really, really good study. So I've been really um, enjoying that in our um, homeschool. Okay, so what else do I have down here? So you guys, in the month of January, it was Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday and me and my daughter, we spent a whole week doing a Martin Luther King unit study. I actually printed off the free unit study from, um, what is it, the Waldorf Way? I think that's what she's her, her channel's name is called. But I printed off a free uh, MLK um, unit study that she had and we worked on it for the whole week along with reading this book, the story of Martin Luther King Jr. And you guys, like this was the first time in my homeschool that I really uh, introduced uh, Martin Luther King and uh, the civil rights movement and just uh, deeper, we went a little bit deeper into history than my daughter has ever ever been in before. Um, my daughter was in public school from kindergarten and half of second grade. So she's never really experienced um, history, civil rights movement. Um, she's never really learned about Martin Luther King. And this year, you guys, it was such a beautiful experience coloring on the couch with my daughter, reading this book. You guys, I really love this story of book. Um, and I think I went into depth about this book in my January morning basket video. I really loved it because it really just allowed my daughter to think critically. I love the layout of this book right here and it's just been amazing. Um, here goes a question that uh, they asked the kids to think about. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read it to you guys. And it's, it's these little parts right here where it says, um, jump in jump in the think tank is what they call it and after we read the first chapter about martin luther king's childhood it asked um it asked you to ask your child the question it says how would you feel if you had been stopped if you had to stop being friends with someone just because of the color of their skin and i love these like critical thinking questions that they have in the story of books because it really allows you to uh see if your kids really understand and grasp the, the uh text in the history and it was just beautiful just hearing um my daughter's take away from uh really learning about martin luther king's life his dream uh his impact in america and it was so beautiful we did a lot of art um, my daughter made a timeline she wrote a beautiful paper and um, it just was amazing I never really experienced that with her because we've been doing like a lot of geography studies um, a lot of things not necessarily in American history just because I've been very hesitant to do American history with my daughter because I want her to uh, not take away from here uh, from American um, I guess I just want, I want her not to take away from American uh, history um, to be feeling like suppressed or to be feeling down. I uh, felt that way in my personal journey with American history and I think that's probably why um, I have been treading very lightly doing American history with my daughter just because I didn't have the best experience with it. So um, doing this story of Martin Luther King and the unit study, it really just showed me how I can make history beautiful in my homeschool and it was beautiful this month and I'm so happy that I did that unit with her. I'm so happy that we sat down and we had some deeper conversations that we've never had before and I feel like that was like my highlight of this month. So uh, yeah, it was it was beautiful. So along with that, I'm going to show you guys my daughter's independent reading, what she has been reading this month. She's been reading this story called Love Like the Sky, and she's really been enjoying this independent reader. This was actually one of her Christmas gifts. For Christmas, she asked me to buy her books, and now her bookshelf is almost all the way filled, and she's so happy she can kind of like go on her bookshelf, pick whatever book she wants to read. And um, I'm really happy she's reading this book. Uh, this book, uh, to give you like a short uh, and sweet version of what this book is about it's just about um this girl her name is peaches and it just explains how she is dealing with her new blended family and i really feel like um i love my daughter reading about different types of family and their struggles and then how they come together and she's been really enjoying this book every single night she's been up past her bedtime she comes and says mommy can i read one more chapter and she's been going to bed late but i've kind of been letting her <laughs> go to bed like 30 minutes 
after her bedtime because she just wants to read more and I mean I really can't say no especially when she's like getting into this book so as you guys can see she's almost finished with this book she probably will be finished by the end of this week and the next time I make an update video I will let her do like a review on this book so you can hear from her opinion how she loved this book this book has two in the series so she might want me to buy the next one you guys already know my daughter she is a series junkie so uh yeah so we've been in or she's been enjoying this one now as far as my daughter's creative writing she actually did another uh story hopefully you can kind of see it i have the little cellophane on or the little book cover but um she's written another short story she's actually been working on this short story right here since november and she actually finished it um in the afternoons my daughter she uh, works on the computer and she does story writing or creative writing um we used to do creative writing first thing in the morning however now we kind of switched up our schedule i made a schedule change for uh our second semester it's been going good um and it's allowing my daughter instead of working on creative writing in the morning she has free range in the afternoon and i really like her working on it in the afternoon uh, all of her core work is already done and she can kind of uh, do something that she's passionate about so this is her short story she has written and it's so cute I have to take the time to actually read it now since she's finished it so I print it off so hopefully I can read it uh, I can finish reading it throughout the rest of this week and me and my daughter can have like discussions about her short story and I can just let her know what parts I like then we can kind of like laugh and chat about it so um, that's kind of like what I do for her creative writing I do not edit or I don't uh, do any corrections to her creative writing because I feel like I just want her to get into the uh, flow of just getting her thoughts down I do edit her writing when it comes to any paragraphs or uh, anything that she writes for any of her like uh, English or her um, history any place where I have her writing paragraphs in her core work I do edit that but other than that creative writing is just supposed to be for fun it's just supposed to be an outlet just to let her bring go and she's definitely been uh enjoying that like afternoon time doing her like story writing so um yeah so you guys, I do have a preschool update I wanna share with you guys. Uh, if you already know, I do have a two and a three year old and I have officially incorporated them into our homeschool. Last semester, we actually uh, did a purely preschool unit. We did uh, the purely preschool fall unit. I wasn't like consistent throughout the whole year. We only did that unit, I think for the month of October, but it was beautiful. We had so much fun doing that. However, uh, starting off this semester, I knew I wanted to be more consistent with them not just do something with them for just one month but I wanted to really incorporate them into our homeschool days so I picked out some curriculum and the main curriculum that we've been using now is actually uh, playing preschool I really have been enjoying playing preschool we are actually doing the colors unit and it's been so much fun my kids have been having so much fun and it's really been easy incorporating them into our day uh, right after Bible time we go straight into um, our playing preschool and it's just been like a natural flow uh, and I really have been enjoying it as far as like preschool curriculums honestly I love both playing preschool and purely preschool they both were amazing uh, preschool units they really helped my hand in doing uh, preschool at home and I will continue to kind of use both of them um, in our homeschool uh, I do have a purely preschool insect unit that I want to do when it comes to springtime so um, yeah so preschool has been going good I haven't been as as consistent as I want to be with preschool we've been doing it like three days out the week on Wednesdays my daughter has speech therapy so I don't do um preschool on Wednesdays and I was finding myself kind of like dropping the ball on like um, Tuesdays so I was really doing preschool like Mondays Thursdays and Fridays I really want to kind of get into the routine of doing preschool four days out the week but for right now I feel like I've been consistent at least three days so that's a start <laughs> <laughs> so we've been making it. Another thing that I'm going to be adding in our preschool is that I've been noticing my oldest daughter, Leia. She's three. She will be four on March the 28th. So her birthday is coming up very soon. And I'm kind of sad I will not have a toddler, two toddlers anymore. She's going to be like an official kid. And um, yeah, so um, I've been noticing she's been like starting to count like her blocks and doing like early counting. 
However, she's just like counting randomly. And I really wanted to start working on like some early preschool math. I really didn't know like what to do. I didn't want to just like give her worksheets. I just wanted something that was going to guide me along the way. Um, I seen a recent video from Rachel from Seven and All and Jasmine from uh, One Caffeinated Mom. They showed this book. Um, hopefully you can see it. It's not too much of a glare, but it's preschool math at home. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, yeah, there it goes. Okay, so this book is called Preschool Math at Home and it pretty much uh, just helps you and guides you to uh, different activities and ways you can help your kids get a really uh, good number sense when it comes to math. So I just purchased this book um, and it just came in the mail on Friday. So I haven't started it yet with my daughter. I think I'm gonna read like the first chapter so I can kind of get familiar on what to do because I've been noticing she's been like picking up everything, Legos, blocks, and she's been like randomly trying trying to count it however you know they count one two three and they're touching the item like ten times so um yeah I really want to start working on that preschool math with her because she's interested in it so um hopefully this book right here preschool math at, at um, home by Kate Snow will help me I'll let you guys know how it's going but um for preschool you guys as you can see I definitely want to continue to do like a fun playing literature reading based preschool um and yeah if you guys want to see like um how preschool is going or my daughter's preschool routine as soon as i get into a better flow with them i definitely will share with you guys um just how it's been going as far as preschool and try to do like a day in life it's so hard to film with the kids because they're so fickle <laughs> and uh you guys with toddlers you already know it's like one day they they want to do it and the next day they don't so hopefully i can get them into a better routine and hopefully closer to either the end of this month or next month i will show you guys uh how it's going and like a day in the life of my preschoolers and uh everything like that so um yeah now as far as like a little mini life update i want to add some things that's been going on personally just to share with you guys um a little a little heart to heart a little mom moment um this month you guys i actually took away the pacifier from my two-year-old i know it was long overdue when i went to her pediatrician's office they told me it was time and uh you guys i've been having like a rough couple of weeks uh with that transition of taking away that binky from my uh my two-year-old Alana, um, she's doing fine now. However, it was a very hard transition. She was very clingy and uh, it kind of made January a little bit harder in that sense. Um, is as far as like homeschooling because I really had to like cater to her. I knew it was something that I had to do, um, but I went ahead and did it. Um, and as far as me, you guys, like this month, I definitely been having like a January like type of blues. It really took us a long time to get back into our full homeschool flow. A lot of days I was only doing like math language arts and then some days it was like math language arts spelling. So I, we were kind of just like taking our time, building up slowly our schedule just because because January is like a really, I guess, dreary month for me. I just really was feeling like the January blues this month. I'm starting to feel a little bit better going into February. Um, I'm really excited about Black History Month. Um, so yeah, but I definitely was on the struggle bus as far as January, kind of like, uh, picking up my feet and, and, you know, doing all the things. Um, you guys, I was rolling into homeschool with like pajamas on and you know I was barely doing my hair the month of January I just was kind of like in a slump but hopefully I can get back into being more consistent getting ready in the mornings uh and showing up for my kids so uh yeah that is definitely something I'm going to be working on uh as we roll and transition into the month of February so you guys, I love making these updates. I hope you guys enjoy. Please let me know how your homeschool is going. Uh, if you had the January blues or if you guys were very productive in the month of January. So you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I look forward to seeing everyone in my next one. Bye.